Hey there, econ students. You might have already studied the types of unemployment. You've probably learned about frictional, structural, and cyclical unemployment. In this video, I'm going to focus not so much on the definitions and examples of those specific types of unemployment, but how they all relate to the nation's business cycle. And we'll learn about what's called the natural rate of unemployment, which is the level of unemployment that a country would experience when it's producing its full employment output. That may sound confusing now, but six minutes from now, it won't be nearly as confusing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and head over to econclassroom.com for more resources for economic students and teachers. In this video, we're going to talk about the natural rate of unemployment. Before watching this, you should have already learned the different types of unemployment that a country could experience. To review, there are three types of unemployment that an individual could experience or that a country could experience. The first is structural. Structural is the unemployment resulting from changes in technology or the composition of a nation's output. The second type of unemployment that an individual or a country could experience is frictional unemployment. Frictional unemployment is perhaps the easiest to understand because most of you will experience frictional unemployment before any other type. It's the type of unemployment experienced when an individual is in between jobs or looking for his or her first job. Frictional unemployment is what you will experience when you enter the labor market for the first time after graduating high school or university. When you're in that transition stage and applying for your first job, you will be temporarily frictionally unemployed. Finally, there's cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment is that which results from fluctuations in a country's business cycle. During periods of recession, cyclical unemployment will increase. During periods of expansion, cyclical unemployment will decrease or even become negative if a country is producing beyond its full employment level. Now that we have defined the three types of unemployment, we're going to talk about which of these are considered natural or normal unemployment that an economy will experience even when it's producing at its full employment level. Now this sounds a little counterintuitive. You'd think if a country is at full employment, there would be zero unemployment, but that is simply not the case. Even when an economy is doing as well as it can hope to do, when all resources are being used efficiently and the country is producing at its potential level of output, there will be some unemployment in the economy. And the types of unemployment that will exist are structural and frictional. These types of unemployment are normal, and in economics terms, we actually call them natural. So we could say that cyclical unemployment is not natural. The existence of cyclical unemployment is evidence that a country is producing below its full employment level and experiencing a recession or a contraction in its business cycle. Output has fallen below the full employment level. Now to help us better understand this, we're gonna look at some real unemployment data for the United States of America. Notice the dates here. We have data going back to 1990 all the way up to 2018. 28 years of unemployment data here. Let's look at some trends. Notice that over the 28 year span, unemployment fluctuated, not surprisingly, along with the business cycle. In years when unemployment was increasing in the early 1990s, in the early 2000s, and in the late 2000s, before 2009, these were periods of recession in America's business cycle. And the increase in unemployment during these periods was the result of rising cyclical unemployment. So we can say that during these periods, cyclical unemployment was increasing. Cyclical unemployment increases when there is a decrease in output in a nation in a period of time, usually resulting from a decrease in total demand for the nation's goods and services. During these periods, we had an increase in cyclical unemployment. So what we want to try to determine next is what might America's natural rate of unemployment be? In other words, what unemployment would prevail when America is producing at its full employment level, not experiencing recession, and it's also not experiencing or approaching a peak in its business cycle. And we can pretty much discern what that rate would be. It could be considered the, the rate of unemployment that the country tends to return to after recessions. So notice that somewhere between 5 and 6 percent, we could estimate America's natural rate of unemployment might have existed during the 1990s and the 2000s. If I had to draw a trend line through this blue unemployment line, it would probably look something like this. In other words, what's the average unemployment rate over all these years? It tended to fluctuate around 6 and 5%. Of course, during the recession of 2008-2009, it rose dramatically and then fell again to its current low of just around 4.1%. So studying this data, what could we say America's natural rate of unemployment is? It looks like it's probably between 4.5% and 5.5%. This is the unemployment rate that would prevail in the United States 
when the economy is producing at its full employment level. Of course, there are periods of rising cyclical unemployment, which pull that unemployment rate up. And there are periods when the economy was approaching peaks in its business cycle right before these recessions. For example, in 2001, unemployment was down around 4%. In 2007, unemployment was around 4.4%. And today, in 2018, unemployment once again is back around 4%. So you may wonder, well, does this mean America's at a peak in its business cycle and might enter a recession? Well, a lot of people are asking that same question because looking at historical trends, we might expect to see unemployment rise again in the near future. The natural rate of unemployment is the unemployment rate that prevails when an economy is producing at its full employment level of output. The two types of unemployment included in a country's natural rate are structural and frictional. These are normal, natural types of unemployment that even a healthy economy producing its potential output would expect to experience. Here we go. One step at a time,